Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California. So excited to be here. I like your sticker on your cup. Thank you. I'm like, who, who, um, I don't even know. It was naked. Yeah. It needed a sticker. So I thought, why not put this one? And this is my least favorite pink. I don't know why I bought it. I am not a baby girl pink. So I thought I jazz it up with all the sassy, fun stuff. Um, stickers we have in the store. These sold really well yesterday. They did. Though. We had a lot of people. Some people bought more than one, which I love it. Give it to all your girlfriends. I liked your idea. On the car? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have a little dent on the car, and um, I thought, not on the dent, to the side of it, so people know what it references, right? Yeah. Did you ask Marcus? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually on Marcus's car. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Thank you, Crystal. I just did my hair, so it's very crazy. This is, I don't know. I'm just rolling with the curly hair these days. I'm, I need to get a whole bunch cut off, probably this much, because it's, gro it's finally growing back mm. in. Remember when I was losing all my hair in yeah. September? Now they're like this long. So it's thicker up here, thinner down here. Well, thank you. Thank you. It was a quick day. Let's see. I'm trying to think what I have. My favorite shoes that I wear all the time. There was a sale. I bought five pairs. Nice. Here's my newest pair. I was telling Karen Howard bought some. You guys, oh my God, you those guys are see cute. me wear these all the time. They're corkies. They have um, memory foam in them, like half of an inch of memory foam. They're comfortable. I could wear them all day. If you're interested in the sale that I found, let me know. I'll send it to you. I literally bought five, five, five or six pairs. I said, okay, you're done. Like I probably have yeah. 10, <laughs> but I like that they're super comfortable and I like a little wedge. Good morning, Devin. Good morning, Catherine. Nice to see you. Good morning, Natalie. They're comfortable, you guys. I, I mean, I wear uncomfortable shoes too, but these I could wear all day at work. And I like that they have a little bit of style and I have a wide foot. It's a win-win across the board. Do they fit narrow feet? They do have purple sparkly oh, ones. Oh my goodness. Eileen, purple sparkly. <laughs> I bought um, this pair, a white pair like this, a camel pair a gold sparkly pair, a black pair, and then like what I would call charcoal. But I already have pink glitter. What do I have? Gold glitter. Nice. Olive, red. I just need this this kind of shoe the rest of my life. I think I could wear those. Crystal wanted the link. Okay, you guys need to, my shoes. Yes, Trich. If you like comfortable shoes that don't look like they're comfortable, these are the ones for you. I mean, you guys will see me if you ever come in the store. I undoubtedly am wearing them. I discovered them um, maybe the fall. I yeah. wore them for the Noro event. That was the start of it. And then I'm like, wow, I could wear these all day. They're comfortable. Um, all right. We have so much to talk about today. Uh, I'm getting lots of questions about LYS Day and how it is online and in store. Um, around midnight, it's gonna go live on the website. Everything's available, you guys know, I never hold anything back. We have what they'll search, we put L-Y-S in the title, and that's how you can easily find out what we have. We have yarn. You don't need to worry about the patterns. We already know what patterns get free patterns. We're just gonna include that in your stuff. For you um we have new accessories oh my gosh new bags that are oh, 10 out of 10 they're so beautiful so new bags new accessories uh an exclusive for i think two exclusives because alexandra's is really where the we are the ones who did it midnight in california natalie friday night friday night in california I mean, it's probably going to be like 10 because I can't stay up till midnight, 10 yeah. or 11. That's what I'll say. Um, <clears throat> but there's lots of good things. If you want it wound, you do need to say, please wind me. 
I'm just excited. We're going to try and just give you guys as much stuff as we can um, for it. So I'm just excited. I love LYS Day. It's really to celebrate your local yarn stores, but I feel like local is relative. It's yeah. what store or which stores make you feel like you're part of the local peep. So, you know, we're very happy to have so many people watching us live on a daily basis. Um, we do, while supplies last, we're going to have a gift for you. So we're excited about that. Um, I can't think, can you think of anything else? I think you got it all. I might, don't know. Might be a slight delay in shipping after the event. But yep. We'll get it out. Plan on it taking a couple extra days because we won't be able to ship on Saturday. We'll be really busy and we're actually teaching classes too. Yeah, we have three classes that day. Am I teaching two of them? Yes. At 11 and 12? Yes, and then I have 2.30. Open regular time, yeah, because we'll do our live. Good morning, Lynn. It's really exciting. We've done, Susan has carried the uh, torch and has knit every sample for LYS Day and is currently working on our exclusive right now. So that one, the pattern will be available next week. So just to let you guys know that pattern's not available because we're working out the details. Kristen has just been amazing getting all the product in. I'm great at buying things. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, you cracked me up. She's excited for part two of the chicken class. Right? No, Susan, you know, I'm going to say Susan's done amazing, but I have pressed our people that we needed the yarn in advance, mm -hmm. and that is what the secret is. I think we got our first one like two months ago. Probably. Alexandra's, was she first? Yeah, no. She was second. Second. Oh, that's right, because we yeah. had irises. Yeah. yeah. So but still, when, yeah. the fact that you got them early gave me time to knit. Yes. So excited. Oh, thank so, you, Crystal. So she is. Oh, I love that. She's a great teacher. Yeah. I always say you guys are over 11 and you're not related to me, so it's all good. You're really good with Everly, too. Yes, yeah, so I can handle little kids. Mm -hmm. I don't she, want to teach little kids, but I'll do lots of things with little kids. She follows Susan around shopping. Yes. She's a customer. She's the sales rep. Yeah. She'll be here tomorrow if anyone wants a little fix. She of... sits down with me and makes lists. Yeah. She does. She does. It's good. cute. She does. She's very excited. That's her favorite day of the year, she told me, was Thursday. <laughs> nice. So she could come to work. That's good. I love it. And she hangs out with Nancy, too. She loves Nancy. She does? Yeah. Yeah. All the, I mean. She shares. It is part of. Uh, Natique has always been a place that our children and now grandchildren are welcome. We used to have a little uh, kids section. Susan's yeah. oldest and my youngest. Well, Nolan was under two when I opened the store. Marcus was a little over two. Yeah. They're so like they, one, four or six months apart. Yep. You just They just hang out, yep. do their thing. And then my youngest. She came in. We stopped here on the way home from the hospital. Yeah. We got our, I think we were the first people that got a peek. Yeah. I love it. All right. So it's been definitely a long time. All right. Our monthly prize. So excited. It's going to be, uh, Susan and Karen are going to give it away on a Wednesday, May 1st. So it's kind of exciting. All the LYS stuff is going to be going towards it. Valued at 500, 500, 100. Do you know why I said 550? Why? Because I got an envelope from Staples that apparently Ooh. I had $550 worth of rewards, right? Now, here's the thing. I could be responsible and get ink, but I really don't want to because it's free money. I'm like, what indulgent thing do we want for the store that we wouldn't normally buy? So I have $550 to burn at Staples by the end of the month. Normal magazine soon. I have not seen it. Yes, anything. it already shipped. Oh, did it? It should okay. be here this week, hopefully in the next couple of days. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to do the video on that. All right, monthly prize valued at over $150. We have this beautiful purple bag that was locally made by Brenda's mom. She's one of our Natique girls. Um, all very good, high quality uh, cottons. It is lined, it is for the purple people because everyone. 
I'm gonna say pink may edge out purple in our boutique. Um, a little teeny because bit. Because it's, you're surrounded by it. So it just seems, even our door is pink. You know, we should repaint that. And I think we need a kickboard yes. for it so that. For sure. Because apparently, I'm probably one of the ones that do it. <laughs> I kick it to go I don't, out. I'll kick my car door shut, but I turn around and push my way out. Of yeah. There we go. All right. So we have that. We have two skeins of retired yarn from Noro Kiri. It's a beautiful blend. Um, there's over 600 yards. We have this fantastic cashmere sh goat. I was going to say sheep. A official sponsor of Natique Soak. Do you know they're, they always donate to everything we ever do? Always they one do. package. That's awesome. They're amazing. So Soak is part of that. This is Celebration. It's been around since the beginning. It has a slight floral scent. It's the one that I use. I like a little uh, fresh flower with the wet dog you get. <laughs> you get wet sheep. It's Trust me, it smells different. Yeah. It is interesting because it does smell like wet dog. And I mean, ooh, I wash those dogs a lot. We have the I'm the Rainbow Sheep of the Family. We have lots of different socks. This is just a fun one. Pride's coming up. So even if you aren't technically the Rainbow Sheep of the Family, you can still be the Rainbow Sheep of the Family. You can just be the different member of the family. Exactly. And then we have three different patterns available. Uh, out of the almost 200 we have on Ravelry, most of our patterns are $5 and under. This is shallops. It is a cowl that has a pleat on the side with increases. One of my favorite patterns. We have Solmont, which is knits and pearls, and it just keeps going around and around and around. And then we also have Sunset in the Desert. Uh, Susan, how do they get, and can I enter to win that? So every time you make a purchase, you get one entry. So the more purchases you make, the more entries you get. It is cumulative throughout the month. And we will uh, draw on May 1st. I feel like Karen judged that. Our basket. That's why I didn't take anything out. Do you oh. see how perfect it is? Yeah, I thought you did that. No. Must have been Karen because it wasn't me. Karen was here, and you'll have to see. She redid the most of the front window, judged everything. Look at even like. She even a, changed the baby's clothes. Even the baby has clothes and being changed. She's, look at all our knits. One, two, three <laughs> knits. I love it. I do want to do a class on this. we got to remember okay. that on the list. All right, so did you talk about how they get entered mm -hmm. to win? Perfect. All right, for our daily prize, we have a really, I'm trying to turn this so it's a little easier for you. Oh, look at that. There you go. All right, so our daily prize, ooh, this is a good one. This is Juniper Moon Moonshine. We currently in stock have Moonshine Bulky. It is a single ply, luxurious blend of organic silk, extra fine baby alpaca, and Peruvian Highland wool. It is really, really nice to be able to um, knit with this. One of our patterns, I can't think of, uh, something Harmony. Mm, celestial. Thank you, Celestial Harmony is out of that one. But what we have for this pattern is to blonde. Uh, this is one that Anna wrote. It, there's three different sizes. I'm going to say you have enough to do the small or the medium. Yep. Small or medium, which is 8 by 24 or 6 by 30. Just a really fun little quick pattern. Um, and it's knit on a size 7 needle. Let me see their stuff on here. Oh, they have the Mule Sing Free Fair Trade Peru. I didn't even know that. Notice that. They have all kinds of standards on this one, which I like. 40 alpaca, 40 wool, 20 silk, hand wash, lay flat to dry. Again, we do have it in the um, bulky. I think they call it bulky. It's always been chunky, then they change the word. So bulky and chunky, interchangeable. It's the same weight. It would be a five if you're um, a numbers person. All right, how you get entered to win this is all through engagement. You guys know we love to see what you have to say. Uh, we like seeing if you like what we're showing. So if you feel like throwing out an emoji here and there, you're going to get one entry for every emoji. Every time you comment, you are going to get um, five entries for that. 
Oh, shoot. Typing and talking is very hard. There you go. Five entries for every comment. And then the easiest way to really pump them up is sharing to your story, sharing to your feed. Oh, did I spell it right? I did. Hot damn. All right. So you're going to get 11 entries. You do have to pop back in and let us know where you shared. Good morning, Heather. Share to my stories. Thank you for the share, Heather. Lynn says she loves the moonshine yarn. Me too. It's very nice to knit with. All right. So based off of yesterday's video. Oh, come back hold on. I started it. Darn it. It's on the list too. That's all right. The list is just going to get easier and easier. We will look at our cute little Mother's Day card. That is okay, but if I had to choose my favorite, it'd be you. There it is. Happy Mother's Day. I like that. But when you first take it out of the envelope, that's what you see. And you're like, wait a minute, this is Mother's Day. Right? Or you could get just a cute little single card here. Let's do the sunflower. Just a nice blank card, comes with an envelope. And our cute little posable mouse person. Almost, sorry everyone, it takes me a second. I think I got it. We'll see. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, here we go. Who is gonna be the winner, winner chicken dinner? You like the mini cards, Heather? Oh, Nancy nice. Powell. Congratulations, Nancy. Nancy is local, so yes. I believe she'll be here tomorrow. So remind us you have a prize and we will get it from the cabinet. She's and in the, she's in the machine knitting She class. is. And if you win a prize and you cannot make it in, next time you make an order, let us know in the notes you have a prize and we will include it in your pretty pink package. Another quick look at our Art Yarns LYS Day that was released before LYS Day. That drives me crazy. I know. But I'm just embracing it. Merino Clouds, Silky Twist, Beaded Silken Sequins. And this is the project we made with one skein of Merino Cloud, which is, this is an upcoming class, which I saw somebody found it already and signed up. I saw that. I'm thinking, who was it? Natalie. Natalie. Ooh. I hope Natalie gets to watch it live with me. That I don't would be think fun. I have ever done a live class. You want to, while I'm putting it away, show them our new sticker if they did not watch yesterday. This is our new sticker. It can get wet, so you can put it on your mug and still wash it. And I want to put it on my son's car because it has a dent, and I'm like, we just need to block the car and it'll come out. Right. I have been looking, we've been talking about the baseball jerseys. Yeah. I am looking, because I think that would be just the funnest. Here's one that I thought was so cool. Wouldn't that be fun if it said Nati? Yeah, And then we could all fun. choose our number. There's only, a, ooh, it's only a one star. So I'd be curious why oh, not. Hmm. But I just thought that would be fun. I have this idea. Even if it's just for my team, but then you guys can order them if you want to. And whatever size makes you happy. Good morning. All right. Be funny to go to a baseball game wearing them. You know, they do have those. Say, are they still doing stitch, stitch and pitch? pitch? Yeah. I don't know. Someone look that up for us. All right. We are going to be talking about the beautiful shawl that I am wearing. Knit by Natik Girl Lynn, who is part of our Texas division. Um, and we have put together some really good color options. There is going to have to be that you guys, there's not kits, but we'll post everything and the colors. Let me take it off so you guys can see everything. It is just a stunning <clears throat> top down with a little garter tab using a fingering weight <laughs> yarn and then a glitz. Heather, Natik, a league of their own. Bougie standards only. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't this gorgeous? So, so pretty. Um, using one of each. 
I like the details on this yeah, and that little bit of lace. This is gorgeous. Of course, I like the blue too because it's cobalty. And then to make it stay, you guys know my trick. You're going to grab your magnet and I put it underneath my dress. So it holds it right to my dress. I'm gonna tuck that in because I it's a, a little itchy stitchy. There we go. Texas division, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start right up here. We have multiple choices. Um, we're gonna put the Celeste link. I will link, um, let's see what I'm gonna do. Okay, I got Celeste. Let's see. You have Celeste? Yeah. Okay, control copy. Yep. So this is 80 cotton, 20 poly. What is the yardage? Thank you. I'm like, where is it? There it is. 200 meters. So what is that? 220 220, yards? 220 yards. We have paired it together with a fingering weight. So here is um, a Mad Tosh merino light one of a kind but look at that gorgeous olive that you get with that i'm gonna drop up just a bunch of links for you guys this is the mad tosh um if you're ordering it just i don't know we will do our best to match exactly the one that you chose if you like the olive if you're ordering these two together we will definitely put it together for you I'm gonna move on to Guthrie Peak. This is a Dream and Color Smushy Cashmere 555. Look at the pairing with this one. I just thought it was fun with the little speckles in it. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry, I have to drop this. There's a lot of links today. All right. And that color, even though it's got speckles in it, it will definitely work in the lace. Mm-hmm. And remember, if you want us to wind them, please put wind, please wind in the notes. Yep. And you know what's nice about this glitzy one, Celeste? It is under $10. That's awesome. So it really doesn't add too much to get a little bit of bling for that. So that is option number one, the Guthrie Peak 555 with Celeste in color number 97. You can see it right there. Um, and you can definitely see what's the sparkly, where's the cotton, but very, very easy to knit with. All right, the next one we have this beautiful, um, really, it's a more of a subtle color. I definitely see people who are um, spring and summer color tones. It's the most really pretty light mauve with little bits of blue. We have cream, we have some mushroom, and then a little bit of sparkle that wraps around it. We're pairing it, we have two different offerings. One is Tosh Merino Light in the colorway Medieval, which we talked about yesterday. Or we could do Earth Yarns in, uh, you would want two of the Earth because these are half yeah. skeins. Earth 16 in color number BR60. But look at just the difference that you get with that. It pulls different colors. Very subtle. I think um, we do have lots of patterns, also ones that you can um, knit them together. Let me drop this one, control copy. So there's just a few. It's even though we would love to make this really simple for you guys by putting them in kits, it's mm -hmm. actually not as easy as it seems because we have to take them out of inventory. Oh, that's cute. And photograph them, and that just is a lot of work. But if you come here into the store, we can definitely help you. We've been trying to keep out our little samples. <laughs> the tag is a little too big for that, it isn't is. it? I'm like, it's not squishy. There we go. You got it. I can beat it. 
into submission. There we go. I like that that one you Mary, can go. Mary, yes, this is for the shawl that I'm wearing. Yes. You would need uh, one and one. If you're doing 16, you need two of those because they are half skeins. All right. Choices, choices. I, I really <laughs> like this one. I feel like it's cruise dressy. Yeah. It's got the blacks, it has olive, it has some burgundy, some burnt orange cream, and then it's wrapped in a lot of um, dark sage green thread. This is color number four. It's got gold sparkles. I don't know if those are showing on the video. It's such a tiny, it's very, getting... very subtle. Uh, yeah, you can see a little bit right there. But it's sprinkled throughout the whole thing. There's lots of sparkle in there. Why doesn't it show up? Mary, the, sh the shawl that I'm wearing is Grenada. If you have a second device and we flip it over, you can scan that code right there and it'll take you to Ravelry. This is all Susan. This was our idea, I think, for uh, stitches, but we've just kind of run with it. Yeah. It's a lot easier for us that people aren't tearing the tags off anymore on our knits. Not as much. Yeah. There's still a couple it that still keep happens. Going. Yeah. All right. So we have this beautiful color number four. Here it is with Dream and Color Smushy Cashmere Black pearl color number two that is their darkest black which I love it definitely more of a charcoal gray thank you Devin and then oh good let it lean on its neighbor because really it could go with that one too all right let's just do that or if you want a lighter palette we have a 16 fingering by earth yarns in color number BR20, brown 20. Yep. It is a pink hued taupe. Definitely leans pink. You can see it. Almost like a mauve color right there. It's so weird how color does that, but it's definitely there. I don't know if it shows on camera, but boy, when you see it in person, just a tiny bit of it. All right, we're going to show you some options that you can do with these pairings. Okay, I thought this one was fun to do the lace and the Celeste. The okay. upper lace portion. Right here. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Uh, Shawl Laceria. That's a great way Show of doing it. in there. Yeah. By Esther Lara. I wonder if that one's new. I've never seen it before. It April is. 2024. Nice. Four people have made it. I really like that one. Oh, it's pretty. Um, I do love the idea of the sparkle being right here. Right. And, and then, then you can use it in the here. garter. Yeah. I was going to do the eyelet with it. Yeah. And you can do it on the border too, down here. Mm -hmm. Tie the whole thing together. Just little bits of it too. Even if you did it like here, here, mm. and here, here. Depends. Heather says the pattern is 50% 50 50 off now through a Ravelry. Really? I love it. But only if you buy it yourself through the store, it would be full price because they don't give us that option. They don't. Uh, this is another one, Lisa K. Ross. So you're just going to, we'll let Susan talk about her thoughts. Put it here mm -hmm. in this section. The baubles. Yeah, you could do it there too. She's one of my favorite designers also. Anywhere she's got this other color. I don't, I don't know if I do it in the bobble, but definitely in here you could do the garter stitch. Sprinkle it in wherever you want. You could do it in this front section. It looked like a bib though. Yeah. I do like this right here. This yeah. section here. Heck, do just that part and make a cowl. You're right. You're like, done. Yeah. That's like the Casapinka's loop. Mm -hmm. So many options for that. All right. We have Caraza by Tina. I don't even know. Thor Dotier. There you go. There's a lot of <laughs> things on there that I don't know what it means. That's gorgeous. Crocheted. You just sprinkle it in wherever you want. Yep. All right. I love this other combination. This is an exclusive. Um, oh, wait. If it's classy. 
Classy. Yeah. Those well, we're going to save then. that one. I pulled. All right. This one is Smushy Cashmere in color number Cinnamon Girl. I love that one. 11. I love Cinnamon Girl. I had some of that. I wonder what I did with it. And look at the option that you have for this. Isn't this is color number 15. I mean, 15 goes with this one. Mm -hmm. Goes with that one. So beautiful. Again, um, Celeste is a cotton polyester blend, 80-20. Oh, you can knit it by itself like we did for this. You can also combine it, and we are going to have some ideas for that for you also. In the vein of orange, we have this beautiful Firebird. Dream and color smushy cashmere pair. I love this. This is my mom yeah. because it's apricot colors. She would have loved the color of the year. This is color number 27, but look how subtle that is. There's taupes, tans, a little light gold, and beautiful soft apricot. I also like it with this one. That one went with so many. Look at that. Very subtle. Gosh, that's that's just elegant. I think a tank top, like if you yeah. held them together, that would be really pretty. Get a little bit more of a different look with that. Oh, we have so many more. Okay. There's three for this one. Melanie loves the apricot. Lots of folks are liking that one. Okay, this, I'm in love with this one. I love gold. Gold just speaks to me. This is color 50. Melanie, for a cami or even like a sweater, you can double strand it in the machine, running them through both sides of the carriage at the same time. Um, we have three different options with this one. You could pair it with Merino Cloud 2397. Definitely sunflower vibes. Yeah. You could do, so this is definitely more of a gold we have Dream and Color Sunflower. So much more of a less gold, more yellow. And I love this one. This is Guava Nice Day. Is that just it cracks me up. They have the funniest names. Guava Nice Day, look at this gorgeousness. There is some lime green, some sapphire, oh, sorry, not sapphire, hello, sage green. I like the sunflower, this beautiful peach, apricot, beautiful pink. Look at all the colors in this one. I love that one. Mm -hmm. And then with that, so pretty. All right, well, like guava. Guava, uh, nice day. Yeah. All right, let's see what other options, because I know you did some that were worsted that you could hold yeah. them together. Are they at the end? I'm not sure. All right. Let me just hit the end and see. No. No. Here's one. This is where you would hold them together. This is called the Ziggy T. Now she definitely has negative ease. You don't have to have that much. You measure your favorite sweater, like this type of sweater, right? So you wanna measure your favorite t-shirt. That's what I would say. And that's the size that you do. It has kind of the sunburst eyelets. And then look at this gorgeous side detail. Oh, wow. And all you would do is you hold them together. So you're going to have a little bit of glitz with your pretty project. She has, I just want to say this again, she has negative ease. But it's sized from 32 to 50. 12 people have made it. Okay, I love when I see people of all different sizes that are doing it. I like this. She's got it kind of over a sundress cute. is the way to do it. Um, I think they're really cute. This is looks very simple. Are those in, those are the increases of the yarn overs or are they, yeah, I can't her, quite tell. Yeah. No, she has it. Let's see. 
Oh, they are yarn overs. Yeah. Cute. So it's like your even easier eyelid, only it's a T. Mm-hmm. Slip not cast on. What? What is that? Oh, it's going backwards. And here's another one. Cute. Pretty. I like the, I would like the mix of the two yarns because it would definitely change the look. Okay, I'm gonna have to move some things out of the way. We have a lot of choices. We'll start here. Just pile it up. I wanna leave this one because I think that's so pretty. And we'll leave this one because that's pretty too. All right, we are into the blues now. This is what I'm wearing. This is Bedtime, Smushy Cashmere Bedtime, and color number 21. Is it 21? Yeah. Yeah. And 21 definitely has very light um, sky blue with a little bit of pink bits. It has silver glitter, very subtle, but it really pairs nicely with Bedtime, which is that cool, rich kind of a soft cobalt. Ooh, this would be cute. Isn't this that is fun? Helix by Yumiko Alexander. She is the owner of Dando. Um, this would be great in our linen too, but holding them together. Look how cute this is. If you just want to cover your arms, not but not really cover your arms, you could do something like this. I think it's great. It's a cardigan, which everyone loves. She's very photogenic. Mm -hmm. What's the needle size? It must be big. Now this one, I think she made it, she made this as a pullover, but you could also make it as a cardigan. Um, it is on a 10 needle. Ooh, we may need to do a class on that. Yeah. Three rectangles providing a horizontal line and a v-neck on the back gathered cuffs three rectangles yeah i'm thinking you could do that on the machine would you get a loose enough gauge i mean you would have to kind of adjust it if you did it on the nine or you do the every other needle right because yeah. you can do every other needle that would work i did that with for real blankets on the machine it works yeah it does it i just works. haven't tried it with a yarn this size yeah beautiful um, another blend for this, if you want a little bit lighter, I love this one. This is Cornflower Blue, just a really bright version of it because it's a neon, N36D. But that is so pretty. It just hits so totally different. Yeah. This pulls out, like, this pink looks purple, like a lavender when it's with this one, but here it looks pink. I love color and color theory and all that jazz. All right, we have another blue. This is Celeste in color number 34. Definitely midnight blue um, and some of the dark, dark periwinkle. It has gold. You know, I swear my glasses might be the blue light ones because it changes oh. what you're looking at. It does make everything more blue. I see a little bit of mauve, some pink. I like when it's wrapped because it's more subtle. And there's even like a gray in that. We have two options for this. One is blue fish. Now you can see the difference in that. It really cools. It's a very cool blue. But look at this is what I love about Dream and Color Dying. It's layered. So there's more, many colors that are on this one. There's a midnight. There is just that cool, bright blue. I see some Aegean. Definitely um, very bright, saturated, even like there's midnight blue right there. Or if you want, you could pair it with bedtime and it just kind of pops it a little bit more and then makes this look more gray blue. More like a federal mm -hmm. blue with that one. This one, it really warms it up. I think I like bluefish best. 
because I like the way that it um, makes it a little bit brighter. There was a machine question, but it went by too fast for me to read it. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Devin, we are talking about a flatbed knitting machine. We sell the Studio LK150. It's a mid gauge and it's, I have the Addy also. I think personally the Addy is great for hats or tubes. I would not want to knit back and forth in it because you have to pay attention like, don't go too far and then come back again. I just think it's easier on a flatbed. Yes. Um, if you're part of the private group collective, you'll see Teresa's been doing a hat. She just did hats on the knitting machine. Uh, Melanie's done some socks. Devin, the Addy King, I think, is really good for a circular machine. It to me whips out hats that's exclusively what i i use it for hats or tubular cowls and i do use a drill because uh, i think it's too much repetition on your shoulder um i can only crank out one hat and then i have to take a break but if you use a drill with the adapter it's fantastic at our um our next retreat we're going to be having We'll have the Addy um, hat maker so people can try making cowls and hats, tubular stuff on that one. Um, all right, let's show. We have a few more to show. As far as patterns, let's see. Let me find it. Oh, this is good. This is uh, Stephen West Geo Gradient. You would want to get definitely um, maybe two different colors of the Celeste because you want to change your colors quite often on this one. This was beautiful, but a lot of people work on this. This is a fun little crocheted top. I like that kind of a sweetheart neckline. Mm -hmm. I like the wider straps. You can wear a bra with it. I think that's very pretty. And where you have a little bit of color, that's where you would crochet with the Celeste, which would be very nice to crochet with. We also have the Seaborn T. Again, really cute. This thin self-striping, uh, thin stripes, very popular. It's a very French version with the cream and the navy. I like the lace at the bottom. Yep, a little bit of lace on the bottom. This has, again, now you can do it cropped if you have a high pant because you know mid-rise and high-rise pants very popular. Otherwise, you just add a little bit more length. It's a very easy pattern to change. You're just doing more striping here. Um, I showed you that one. Oh, I thought this is cute. This is Ann Holt t-shirt for kids. Even the ribbing's done. Oh, nice. That's fun. You can definitely see when you have pearls, you get little blips in your color work. I actually like that. Look at this cute one. Red and almost like a lavender. This is T Breton. That is definitely uh, a French t-shirt. That's cute. I would cast on more stitches I would probably cast on the number after all these increases, maybe a couple of them, so it's not so high on my neck, but that's an easy tweak to do. So cute. They're doing make one increases, and then there's something else there. Maybe it's just the make ones pops it up a little bit. Yeah. Unless it's bottom up, it could be a yeah. decrease going that way, going up. Bottom up, it is a decrease. So that's a double decrease. Interesting. That's what I well, call Well, that's it. even easier to stop your neckline. Mm, true. And then just put in a little bit of uh, ribbing. Really cute. Neckline and is shaped with wrapped stitches and short rows. Oh. Cute. Let's see, last but not least, we have the Friday Tea by Petite Knit. That's cute. I like that hers isn't plain. It's 
Does she got texture in there? Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can go a little bit tighter. Mm, it could be mistake rib. That's what I'm thinking. I can't get it closer. Right. Let's see what people have done. Maybe we can see it through this. Okay, here we go. If this one goes bigger. There you go. I say it's mistake rib. Or it's a knit one pearl one with the next round being all knits. Could be. Somebody cast on, let us know. Really cute. I mean, her pat, they're so well written. I mean, it is on a two and a half. Good Lord. Broken rib stitch with raglan ink creases. All right, let's talk about what we have coming up in the boutique in the next month or so. Gosh, this Saturday we have LYS Day and then we have quite a few other classes. On Saturday, May 7th, we have the Lagoon Mirage. I think you'll be teaching that one because I won't be here. We may, yeah. Um, this is a beautiful no, 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 no. basket we weave. That. Oh, we did? Yeah. We just didn't change it? Okay. Hold on. I that was, I know we moved it. All right. The Good Mirage is coming up. What about, what's another one that you see there? The LYS Day Shawl. Oh, I love this one. I think it's so beautiful. You can use other, you know, I think, um, you could do it out of the same color. I think it's very pretty pattern was really fun to do and we only need it an hour you're like you can definitely learn it that quickly that just a quick little one um, I'm in love with the linen pretty in linen is Saturday May 28th from 11 to 12 this is a self striping linen but it could be done in something else if that floats your boat a solid linen would be great um, the Bellino the whis oh, linen whisper. Linen whisper, linen Sorry. Low pride. I have so, <laughs> there's so many ones that, and they're essentially the same, but oh my gosh, I love the self striping. I think it just knits up so very well. If you're interested in learning how to crochet, we do offer a learn to crochet a cowl in the boutique on Tuesday nights. And if you are a crocheter and you want to learn how to knit, we offer a learn to knit a hat in the boutique. Um, the price includes your kit. So even though it looks like it's a little bit more money, it's because all the supplies are included because here's what we learned. People are more successful using the yarn that we know works instead of random stuff. I do love Lagoon Mirage. This is uh, originally I designed it for art yarns um, using Silky Twist and Beaded Silken Sequins. And then we re-yarned it in Noro Tasagari with a little bit of glitz in between. So pretty. All right, we will showcase what we are wearing. Again, we're just gonna scooch that to the side. Oh, I'm like, wait, why is it stuck? <laughs> That's how good this is. That, that pin. Tag under your shoulder. Yeah. All right. Here's what I am wearing. This is one skein of each. This Granita knit on a size six needle. It's got striping. It has a little bit of lace work. I just think very pretty, really knits up. And adding the Celeste makes it even lighter because it's such a, um, the cotton is very, very soft. and. Nice to wear with a little bit of glitz. All right, let me get the camera and I will show you what Susan has put on today. I was fast. I know, it just, it just landed really good. So this is Evaness that we did, this is a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We used four, yeah, four colors, uh, three regal silk, one beaded silk. There's no sequins in it. But you could do it all in one color. You can. Or you just do your little bit of leftovers. Yeah. If you've Not got gorgeous. leftover beaded silken sequins, you could do the whole thing in that. That would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, my lovelies. 
we are off. We I will be on um, Knit, Sip, and Hook today at 3 o'clock if you want to hang out with us. Take a break from your work. It's a good time to take a lunch break or an extended 10 minutes. Uh, you can hang out with us. If you're looking for the link, it is a first pinned link on our Facebook. Um, always, we've got Pam is in England. Um, lots of people join us. I think we had five or six last time. Uh, otherwise, the boutique is going to be open from 11 to 5 today. I sh All of our shipping is complete, except for stuff that came through last night. So stay tuned. You should be getting uh, emails when I ship it. It gives you the tracking information. So I just want to say thank you always for supporting us, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.